Hey guys, today I'm going to demonstrate you how you can stop in an emergency. Stopping in an emergency can be a very important maneuver in your test. Let me create the scenario what will happen on your test day. You are driving the car like you're driving now. Just pretend you are driving the car now. Then examiner will tell you to pull up on the left. Obviously, you check center in the left mirror. You indicate the left and you pull up on the left on a safe, convenient and legal place. Once you stop the car on safe, convenient and legal place, examiner will give you the pitch. Examiner will say, okay, this is the time to do emergency stop. So what will happen? I will tell you to stop the car and you have to stop the car as you are saving somebody's life. See how important message examiner is giving you. Examiner is saying, you're gonna stop the car as you are saving somebody's life. So this, we need to take it very serious. That is why so many learners, they fail because they can't create the real scenario. You need to save somebody's life. So how important this word is. So you need to do absolutely same what you will do in real scenario. So examiner say, stop. So what you will do, you will just press clutch and brake together down. See how much force I'm using. You will use the same force. Clutch, brake together down. Clutch, brake together down. Once they are together down, obviously your hands are on the steering. You will have a good grip on your steering. No need to touch your handbrake. If you touch your handbrake, your car will swerve. So no need to touch handbrake. Once you stop the car, then obviously you may be in a second or third gear. So once you stop, do first gear on, have a very good look all around and drive on. Before that, Examiner will check all mirrors. He will make sure there's nobody behind. So you have no need to do anything. You just need to stop. No mirror check, no handbrake while on the move. You will just stop. Let me drive and stop. Hopefully you will understand. Okay, now just think, examiner is here and I am a driver. Examiner will give me order to stop and then I will stop the car and I will move off. Hopefully you will understood. Okay, I'm moving off. I'm gonna check all my blind spots. Nobody coming, indicator right and I will move off. So when I will move off, I will not go slow. I need to speed up. Once I'm going speeding up, examiner says stop, so I will stop. So see, I have not checked any mirror. I just stopped. Once I stopped, I am in a second gear. I do first gear. I'm looking my blind spots. No one else is coming, so I have to go. So this time I don't need indication. Why I don't need indication? Because I was already in middle of the road and I was not obstructing anybody and indication was not benefiting anyone else. So that is what I did. So that is what you need to do in your test. Better to create absolutely the genuine scenario that you are really saving somebody's life. So once you stopped, your seat belt goes locked. You may have a little jolt. So have a good look all around and drive on. Thank you very much. Better to subscribe my channel so you can have more videos to watch. Thank you. Bye now.